Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a project that I've been working on for quite some time. And I finally think I got it into a state that I can share it with you and let people try it. Uh, it is a native IRC chat client for the Coco um, under OS 9 or Nitrous 9. Um, and um, the way to install it, you can copy the files manually or you can use a small script that I put together, which I'll show you real quick. nothing too uh, sophisticated here it just copies the files um, so like I said you can you can copy this manually if you want and you can put the uh, the executable wherever you want all right so I wanted to show you guys Coco IRC in action um, to launch it you just type Coco IRC and this is the opening screen you get now um, the first time you run it, there won't be a config file yet. So you can see uh, if it's not found, it will let you know default settings are being used. But it also give you some pointers on where to start, especially if like you're new to IRC. Uh, you can type slash intro, and uh, you'll get this information. Uh, and it just gives you some advice um, on and tips in terms of where to start or find some networks to connect to, but. Um, Oh, and also there, there's a, uh, a help system that I built in. Uh, this is what that help file we copied earlier is for. Um, type slash help. These are all the different uh, commands. Uh, there are also um, subcategories that you can get help on. Um, for example, uh, the set command has all these other uh, parameters. So let's say we wanted to get help on setting colors. Um, then you can get all of that inf information there. Uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. Um, and it just pulls it straight off the file so the, the, the binary doesn't get too huge. But now let's uh, show it in action. Let's connect to a network. Uh, if you don't include the port number, it will uh, use port 6667 by default. Oh, did I just type config? Yep, my brain is... Not working. All right. And so there's a typical connection process here. Now the default nickname that it comes with is Sam Gimme. So hopefully uh, Samuel Gimes doesn't mind me using his namesake. Um, but if you want to change your nickname, you can just use the slash uh, nick command. Um, I'll use my nickname. Here. I'm not going to identify just right now, but uh, the typical IRC commands work like, you know, message uh, or whatever. But let's join a channel. If I can squeeze my fingers in here. Uh, now, by default, it will show you all the people that are in the channel. Uh, as you can see, I can kind of do a column display to kind of make it more uh, presentable and readable. Uh, obviously, and if you're going to join a large channel uh, that's got hundreds of people, that could really, you know, flood the screen. So if you want to shut that off, you can always do set um, names uh, off, and then it won't display list of the uh, the names automatically. You can always have it display the names manually by just using the names command. Um, so, hey guys doing another demo so you can see uh, it works and just in case nobody's around I'll jump on the PC and be like test 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 very original right there uh, so now if you were to join another channel let's say we'll join Mac OSN OS 10. So you see, it didn't show the names that time. Um, now that we have that off, um, and so now you can see uh, activity happening in that channel. Now side by side, we'll also get um, Coco Chat. Uh, now here on the bottom, where it says Active Window, that lets you know um, what you're interacting with at the time. You can see everything kind of simultaneously. 
but if I type something right now, my text will go to Mac OS 10. Now let's say I wanted to say something to Coco Chat. Um, there's two ways you can do that. Um, you can use uh, text commands, so there's like slash next, and then there's slash prev for previous, uh, and that would let you go back and forth. Uh, but you can also use control and right and left arrow to sort of toggle back and forth between those active windows. Uh, when you want to uh, exit or close the channel, you can hit slash close or slash part. Um, you know, again, uh, those are standard IRC commands. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it works. Uh, now, I guarantee you guys there's going to be bugs in this. Um, so I would definitely encourage people to uh, reach out to me and, you know, let me know if something doesn't work. Um, I definitely welcome uh, feature uh, recommendations, although I can't promise I'll have time to get to everything. One of them that I did implement was to be able to turn the timestamp off. Uh, I know Deke will appreciate that. So now you get to use the full uh, real estate here, um, all 80 uh, characters, um, which may not be, um, may or may not be what you need. So uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show. Um, if you're curious about, you know, the program and how I came up with the idea, you can do that. Those are all the people that helped me create this. Um, so definitely thanks to, to those guys. Um, so you can email me with questions or advice or whatever. Uh, my email is my first name, Todd, T-O-D-D, -D, at techtodd.com, spelled T-E-K-T-O-D-D.com, uh, or Discord, IRC, the usual places. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, it does require drive wire at this point to work. That's how it uh, interacts with the, the, the network. Uh, although in the future, I could definitely support other uh, network devices um, as long as they've got drivers for, for OS 9. Um, and uh, and it, at this point, it does require a Color Computer 3 just because it, it's kind of using uh, the 80 column mode. Uh, although, again, in the future, I could potentially support uh, another platform if, uh, if I can. So definitely let me know what you think, guys, and have some fun.